we have the, the right to, uh, for freedom of the press and freedom of photography. Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and today we're talking with Jerome Voris, a student at Northern Virginia Community College, a resident of Alexandria. And the reason we're talking to you is because you got into a little scrape with the police, Jerome. Tell us what was going on. Uh, July uh, of 2010, I was walking through Georgetown, uh, and I came across a traffic stop. Uh, so I thought that uh, just for a collection uh, that I could just, uh, or that I would just take a couple of shots. Uh, of, the, of the police uh talking to somebody that they had stopped. Absolutely, yeah. of the police officers uh, engaged in a traffic stop uh, and I proceeded to take my photos and I took a, a couple uh, and then when I moved to the other side of the street uh, I was immediately stopped by uh, one officer um, and they asked for security reasons why I was uh, taking pictures. I told them that I just wanted you know, uh, mm -hmm. to have photos for a collection. And that officer skated around my question of was I being detained or not, and eventually came back and said no. But by that time, another officer came by and she requested my identification and in fact said that I was being detained. Mm -hmm. Now, and these were DC city cops. Yep. And uh, as a result of this, the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, is bringing a lawsuit against the, uh, the police. What's the basis of the uh, lawsuit? The basis of the lawsuit they're bringing against the District of Columbia and four police officers individually is that I was detained unlawfully and that my First Amendment rights were violated. And that's because you, uh, you know, in fact, you weren't free to leave if they were holding your identification. Absolutely. Yeah. The officer took uh, my ID and uh, therefore I was not. What's the uh, status of the case now? Because this, it happened a year ago and what, uh, what's going on now? Well, we just filed suit last Thursday in uh, U.S. Federal Court in the District of Columbia. Uh, at that time, the uh, District of Columbia had 20 days to respond. Uh, at this time, he has not responded to our lawsuit. However, the District of Columbia right before we, uh, or right after we filed the lawsuit, sent my lawyer Art Spitzer an email um, saying maybe we can settle this out of court. Unfortunately, at that time, we had already filed the lawsuit. Right. So what are you hoping to get out of the lawsuit? Uh, what I hope to get out of the case is law enforcement nationwide, not only in the District of Columbia, know that photography is not a basis for detainment and that you have to have reasonable articulatable suspicion to detain someone. The Constitution is the Constitution. The First Amendment is clear in that we have the, the right to uh, for freedom of the press and freedom of photography and photography is freedom of speech as well. And this, of course, is a, is a growing issue at Reason TV. We've talked about, about this a lot. Uh, and as citizens are more and more armed with cameras and everything from their smartphones to their iPods, et cetera, uh, this is only going to be more of an issue. Why do you think the police are um, so upset at having pictures taken of them while they're doing their jobs? I don't know. I only could speculate that maybe uh, they don't want citizens or members of the press to document what's happening. Are you deterred by your running with the, uh, with the law or uh, are you dedicated now to taking photos all the time? I'm dedicated now to taking photos more than ever uh, to show law enforcement and, and, and my new process is that I don't, I, I don't only want to take pictures I also want to educate officers who I come into contact with that photography is not a basis for detainment and that they cannot legally detain someone for taking photos. Well, uh, Jerome Voris, I think you're going to have a lot. You certainly w won't be running out of uh, people to talk to for the next uh, you know, 100 or 200 years. <laughs> Thanks very much for talking with us. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.